Hi, it's Danny here with another Excel video. In this video, I'm gonna look at a really quick tip for using Excel, which is something called Flash Fill, which lets you carry out some functions without having to put in formulae or get into anything too complicated. It looks for a pattern in the data and will sort the data out for you. I'll show you what I mean. In my Excel spreadsheet, I've got a list of names that are mixed up already in one cell, first name and second name. Now, you could go into split text into columns, and we've shown that in a video before, but you don't actually have to do that. Excel will automatically do that for you if you tell it to so what I'm gonna do is um, I've got the names here so I'm gonna type the first name in there and the last name in there now that should be enough to give Excel a hint as what I want it to do so I'm gonna click in the cell below and do control and E and it will work out the pattern for the rest of the data if I click in the surname again control and E and it will do the same thing so it's put the names in there so it's, it's looking for the pattern in, in what I want it to do I can do the same thing in the opposite way, so rather than using the concatenate feature and start putting in the formulae to do that, um, here's my first name, here's my last name, I want them both to be in the same cell. I'll type in first, the first one I want it to do, click in the cell below and then do control and E and it will complete the sequence for me and, and put the words in with the space between them which is quite nice. Obviously, if you were using concatenate and you're using the formulae, uh, that would be dynamic, so if you change anything in these columns this would change this doesn't do that it just fills in based on the data that's in there as long as you don't change the data then you're fine if you change the data here you will need to update that yourself you can use it for other things as well so let's say I want to generate a whole load of user email addresses um, I want to use the format of first initial and surname and then we're going to have schoolemail.com or whatever the address is that we're going to use I've typed one in as an example and again I can just click control and E and it will do the same thing for all the others so nice and easy all you've got to do is control and E it's called flash fill so if you want to find out more about that go into office search and look for flash fill and you'll find out some other ways of using it thank you for your time I'll be back soon with some more videos cheers goodbye